Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's video where I'm gonna go through a whole tutorial start to finish and show you guys how I install and blend my long curly 26 inch hair extensions. Best believe I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my top notch secrets for installing these hair extensions. I haven't seen many people do these tricks that I'm about to show you. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. To begin this tutorial, I'm starting out with freshly washed day one hair. Now this is actually going to be one of my biggest tips and secrets for successfully blending your long hair extensions. You want to start out with hair that has no volume. I know it sounds a little crazy, but trust me, it works and you're going to see how this is going to help later on in the video. The hair extensions I'm going to be wearing today are from Bella Curls. I've actually been wearing this brand for about four to five years now. Here are some older photos of me wearing the dark brown curly hair extensions. My OG followers will remember these photos. <laughs> but today I'm going to be using these Bella Curls 26 inch kinky hair extensions. I actually custom colored them to match my hair, but this is what they originally looked like. If you guys are interested in how I custom colored these, I can also do a video on that as well. Just let me know in the comments down below. But the original packet that I got is the number 27 dark blonde kinky curly set. These are 226 grams of hair with a total of nine pieces. All right, so now for the fun part, we are going to start installing our hair extensions. For the first section of hair, we are going to be parting at the nape of the neck. Now I start my part around the mid ear level. Don't worry too much about making your parts completely straight or even, just focus on taking thin sections. So now that we have our first section parted, I'm gonna be showing you guys one of my most important secrets to make these hair extensions look natural. So since we are applying a very long hair extension to a naturally shorter level of hair, we don't want it to look like we have a shelf on the bottom or first level layer of hair. So what we're going to do is actually completely eliminate that first layer of hair. We're going to be taking that hair at the nape, parting it into three and braiding it all the way down. I usually braid mine a bit tighter to make the braid as small as possible, but I wanted to make sure you guys could see each step and what I was doing. So now that we have the braid complete, we're going to take the braid, wrap it around into a tight bun and bobby pin it. This is going to make sure we don't have that shelf of hair, which a lot of the time is what makes hair extensions not blend and not look natural. So by doing this, your first layer is going to be all long hair extension. The first piece of hair extension I'm gonna be using has three clips and for each section, you basically wanna measure and just make sure the weft fits comfortably and reaches from one end of the section to the other. For these Bella Curls hair extensions, I recommend holding off on washing them for as long as possible. When you first receive them, they are beautiful curly texture, and mine do look a little bit different now because I have chemically treated them, I have dyed them, I have washed them quite a few times, and I did freshly wash them for today's video. That is why they're in these curl clumps, and we'll be breaking those up as we go along. So now that we have the first section applied, I'm going in with some anti-frizz serum oil just to break up the curl clumps. The one I'm using in today's video is from Giovanni. You can use any one, your favorite oil, your favorite serum, and this is going to be great for just separating those curl clumps. Now we're starting on our second section and I'm going to be parting right at the temple and taking a thin section of hair. Now that we have our second section ready to go, I'm coming at you with my next big tip. I like to use a curl foam or mousse with a little bit of hold on my natural hair in between sections. So I'm making sure my curls are going to stay down and lengthened, and this is going to help it blend easier with the longer hair. The foam I'm using today is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Refreshing Curl Foam. You, of course, can use your favorite foam or mousse. I found that this one worked perfectly. It had a great amount of hold and it just made everything look more polished. For the second section, I used two wefts, each with three clips. This measured perfectly from temple to temple and I left out a couple inches of my natural hair in the front just to help everything blend better. With each section, I'm going in with my serum and breaking up all the curl clusters. Yeah. 
With this third section, I am parting right above the temple and following all of the previous steps. This part of the head normally has the longest circumference, so I'm using one weft that has four clips and one weft that has three. And don't worry if they overlap. For this fourth section of hair, I'm gonna start focusing on where I want to part my hair. You can definitely do a middle part to keep it a little bit more simple, but since I normally do a side part, that's what I'm gonna go with today. I'm going to focus the extension hair on concealing some of the shorter layers that I have up top and keep in mind throughout this process you are going to want to leave some extra hair to go backwards to cover the extension wefts and make sure they're not visible from the back of the head. For this section, since I still do have enough hair to cover it, I'm using two wefts each with three clips. Now that we're coming down to our final sections of hair and we have less hair to cover the wefts, I'm gonna be using smaller wefts. So from now on, I'm using wefts with two clips. Now that we finally hit our last section of hair, I actually took one of my longest wefts with four clips and I cut it in half so I had two separate pieces. This is gonna be great to have a couple of smaller pieces to fit under your shorter layers if you have them like me, and also to fill in some areas that are looking a little bit sparse and that you think might need a little bit more hair. Make sure to finish off with a bit of foam or gel on the back just to flatten out some of those shorter layers. And here we are with the completed look. So this might take you a couple tries to perfect. It's all about finding out your hair shape, where all the weft should go, filling in the spots that need to be filled in, but overall this is a super fun way to switch up your look. Don't worry if you didn't get it exactly right on the first try, a lot of us don't, but I do have a solution for you. So for this look, if I do have layers that didn't blend quite well, I do like to take a clip and just do a half up, half down style. This works perfectly, it helps to conceal the layers and it still looks bomb. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave any questions down below, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my my next video.